Okay, so I'm uh, Patrick from IT Babel, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a quiz with Adobe Flash CS5. So here I've got the quiz, and um, it's the one we're going to make is not as involved as this, but it's pretty close. So if you click the wrong answer, you know, it'll say fail, and if you click the correct answer, uh, Beijing and um, Roll Doll, yay, I win, right? So I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, so here's what I've got. I've got some things set up. Um, I'm going to zoom in here so you can see I've got my start button made and that's a button that's a symbol already I've got the game which is just text it's not a symbol and I've got my background which is also not a symbol so we're ready for question number one so I want to make a new layer there we go I'm going to call it question number one and there we are now I don't want question number one to be on frame one so I'm going to make it on frame two and by I'm going to hit F7 to add blank keyframes but when I get to the background I'm going to hit F6 because I want to continue that yellow background I want that consistency so I'm on frame two and I'm on question one the layer and I want to go here and I'm going to type in eh, there we go and I'm going to speed up the uh, the film a little bit here just for time four five six okay um, all right so frame one, I have my start. Frame two, I got question one. And I'm going to make another new layer, and I'm going to call this one wrong. So when they select the wrong answer, this is what's going to happen. And again, I'm going to hit F7 to make a blank keyframe. F7, F7, F7. And on the background, F6 again to continue. There we are. And now I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to type in wrong. And I'm just... I'm going to make this a symbol is what I'm going to do. Now I don't want this to be a button. I want this to be a movie clip. So I'm going to change it here where it says button. I'm going to change it to movie clip and click OK. And I'm going to show you why we're making this a symbol. It's because I'm going to animate this. Um, but I want to nest the animation. So if I double click on wrong, you can see that I'm, not, I'm in that symbol now. I have a new timeline. And I'm going to go ahead and create a motion tween and I'm just going to make it larger there and it'll just loop that over and over again right pretty simple and I'm going to do the same thing again for the correct answer so new uh, let's see here right that's what I'll call it. I'll call it right um, again F7 we want blank keyframes and just kind of go all the way down and then when I get to my background just like before I hit F6 for my background to continue and I'm going to make right and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to make it a movie clip and I'm going to open it up inside and I'm going to add a motion tween here it is convert to symbol there we go I'm going to call it right I'm going to make it a movie clip that's good and I'll click OK and now I'm going to double click inside of it and oh hold on let me adjust it there there we go and and now you can see that I'm in scene I'm, I'm in the I'm in the, the symbol, right, and I'm going to right click and make motion tween and make sure I'm on frame 24 and I'm just going to kind of make it the right size. And again, that will just loop through and over and over again. So I've got everything I need here. I've got my four frames. I've got my four different elements. It's good. Everything should be fine. But, oh, wait a minute. I need to convert all of these to buttons because we want them to be clickable. So when you convert to symbol, I'm going to call it 4. I want to make it a button. Click OK. And I'm going to speed up the film here a little bit and uh, do the same thing for 5 and 6. And we're going to make it a button also so we can add action script to it a little bit later. Yeah, here we go. Convert to symbol. Make sure it's a button. Click OK. And I'm going to come back here. I can't I said it was a button, but to check, I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to come over to the properties on the right-hand side, right over here, and yeah, it says button right there, so it is a button. Okay, so this is good. So when I export this, though, you're going to it just is going to loop, which is obviously not what we wanted to do. So we got to start act, adding some action scripts. So on frame one, um, I'm going to go to timeline and navigation and stop at this frame and make sure that you're on frame one that's really important and it's going to add it there and I'm going to go ahead and close it even though I know you can't quite see I want to go ahead and close it here um, 
And now I'm going to, on the button, I've selected the button, the start button, click to go to frame and stop. Where is it at? There it is. Double click that. And it's going to, it, Flash wants to create an instance name, which it has to do for the action script to work. So go ahead and click OK. And now we want it to go to frame two, because that's where question one is. OK, so let's give it a test here. Let's get, oh, here, let me close this. Here we go. And so when I click, it goes to perfect. And now it, as you can see, those have no action script, so they don't do anything. So we're going to come here, and we're going to add action script to the four, five, and six. So obviously, four and five will be incorrect. So we want it to go to frame here, three. And then when, for six, will be correct. So we want frame to go, when we click on six, to go to frame four. It's a lot of numbers. So I got four selected. I'm going to go click to go to frame and stop, and I'm going to change this five to a three. Okay, I'm going to close it here. And we'll do the same thing for number five. Click to go to frame and stop. And again, I'm going to, it's going to be to three as well. Awesome. And now I'm going to come here to six and click to go to frame and stop. And I want it to stop on frame four because that's the correct answer. And now I'm going to close it here and close this and let's give it a try. All right. So click start should take us to frame two and stops. Good. Four is wrong. And as you can see, it just kind of loops. Uh, so let's let's do it one more time. Yep. Good. Now I could put a button on here if I wanted to that goes back to the beginning, but that's something you could do. You could do later. I'm going to close this here. And I'm going to run it one more time, and this time I'm going to collect the correct answer, and it should take it to where it says right. Yay! There it is. Um, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I hope you helped out. Oops. I hope this helped you out. And if you have any questions, don't uh, feel feel free to ask. And remember, visit us at www.itbabble.com.